Okay, here we are. Once again, I'm uh, doing the a hike. Uh, thing got stuck. I'm doing a hike for Kenny Beach and the M Cave. Today is uh, May twenty-four, something like that. Twenty-four or twenty-five. Um, it's a Sunday. I had a uh, business meeting in Vegas last night and um, stayed up a little late. So I got kind of a late start. Sun's already up. But this right here is an old hidden road. And I got it fenced off. I came here before in one of my videos. I can't remember which one. But, uh... This road goes down to the um, interstate. It's like on the back end. But I, the reason I wanted to come here, um, this road goes to like an uh, old wood mill that I read about. And I don't know how far it goes up there, so we're going to take a hike. Now, way up there on that peak... That's where the hidden forest goes, right there. And right there's that. You go down that canyon, and that's where that little cabin is where I petted that bat. And if you go straight more that way, that's where I climbed up to the top. So what I'm thinking is if Kenny came over that mountain and came down to this old mill... He might have stayed a couple of nights there. He might have even might have stayed there. He might find some clothes or something. Um, but I, like I said, I've never been there, so may not be nothing there now. But we're gonna hike this old ass road. They got it gated off, and it's really bad four wheel drive. You can, we're running right in the bottom of a creek bed. See these big rocks. So. Uh, they gated it all off. But you can still hike up through here. There's not against the law to do that. So, okay. Okay. Come up a little ways. Uh, you can see these mountains. Real peaceful today, man. It's nice. Coming up off the valley there. There's the old road. And then the other road goes up and all through that canyon right there to where that there's a uh, a picnic camp camp area. Um, we're on the Mormon the Mormon Trail Road, and then this road it's pretty pretty old. Nobody's been on this for a while. And then I can see the there's there's a road right up there it goes up we gotta get clear up into there um, I'm assuming they were cutting pine trees so we're still in juniper and Joshua trees so we got to go a couple miles up there but yeah I just want to show this is real peaceful today there's butterflies, flowers, everywhere, and uh, see a lot of birds. Okay. Okay. Right here is start of the pinion pine. Got a big one right here. That's a nice, nice tree there. And uh, there's some Indian paintbrush. And there, kind of a reddish. And then these ones have a little pepper. Look, they look like pepper flowers. They're like a. That's uh, the seeds. 
Looks like a pepper. Those are, I think, Spanish swordsmen, the name of them. And then look, this tree right here, this is a Joshua tree. Thing is huge. All these branches coming out. That's a big, I had a lot of water this year. The road keeps going, but there's an interesting thing right here. Right here is a, look at this Joshua tree. It's just a straight, one straight pole. It's almost like a marker. And then, that's pretty rare. You don't see Joshua trees. How tall this is, it's probably 12 feet tall. And it has a little bit at the bottom, but one straight long tree. That's pretty rare for a Joshua tree. <clears throat> they usually have branches coming off, you know, all over. And there's in like this one here. It's like a branches flip. And okay, so we're gonna keep going on this road. And there's a wash right here that I've been checking out. See if there's any color. And I haven't seen anything. I've seen an aluminum can. See right down. There's another one. Right. You see it shiny? <clears throat> right at the bottom of that Joshua tree. Looks like an aluminum can. So something's up this wash. That's where the road's going. And right here, there's an interesting landmark. Look at this mountain right here. It's like, boop, top of the rocks all sitting there. And you can see way up there, the road still keeps going. We're gonna be going up inside that canyon there. Okay. Okay, I came down here because <clears throat> that shiny was bugging me. And it's a birthday balloon. Those things go with helium and they go way up in the air. And then they, they get cold and they fall. So... They don't go up into outer space. They come back right down to the earth. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Okay. And the, uh, the road goes up. But there's a road that comes down here. You can see it's really old. But right here is a little campground. Down in the bottom of this wash. And uh, the road, I don't know if it keeps going, but I saw some cool, it looks like a cave over there. Now, look, this, look, somebody had a little, somebody built this little lean-to. There's a wire hanging here. And they built this to stay out of the weather. And it's old. <clears throat> it's probably at least six years old. And so I'll just check around, see if I can see any evidence of anything. But it looks like it's pretty much cleaned out. There's a little bench here they're sitting on. Fireplace. A little fire pit there. Somebody was up here either hunting or just camping out, having fun. But I can't see any, it's good. <clears throat> they cleaned up their garbage, that's for one, that's good. Because usually you'll see cans or something. Trash. Well, 
So we'll keep going up this canyon here. Uh, if I see anything interesting, we'll let you see it. Okay? Okay, I thought I saw a cave over here. Uh, but it's uh, it's old creek bed right here coming through the canyon. There's the cliffs on this side. There's the right side. And then, see, that's that rock formation on top. But it looked like there was a cave over here. But this is just a hollow where the water comes through. And kind of cool rock formation. Looks like layers where the water is cut through over eons of time. So we're going to hike up the roads above us up there on the little a little hill above this cliff. But sometimes you want to hike the the riverbed because the water will build up and you know bring stuff down. This is I haven't seen anything since the balloon. Over here On the little rocks. What do we got over here? No. I don't see nothing. Just trees. Oh, there's a bone. There's a pretty old bone right there, and there's another one. I don't know what. That looks like a leg bone or arm. Or it might be a dog leg, dog leg bone. Can't tell. We need to look around some more. If we see a skull or backbone, then we'll know. See, this one looks like that's another leg bone. Arm or leg. Let's see here. Look around up in here. Don't see any others. It's probably an animal. I'm guessing. Because, uh... The human bones would be bigger, a little bigger than that, unless it was a rib, but that's not, that's not a rib bone. Okay, so we'll look over here on the other side. Down through the wash. Stupid sagebrush are tripping me. Over here. I don't see nothing. Okay, well, I'll look around, but I don't, I think that's an animal bone. Okay. 
Okay, we're up here and at the, uh, the lens thing. We're up here, I'm gonna be going up in that canyon. I know where I'm at right there, but I kind of lost the road. If you know me, I'm not much of a road hiker. Right here's the Rock Mountain landmark. So I know that if I get lost, I look for that little lump of rock on top of this hill and just go straight down that's where the truck is so I can't see the road up there you know, the road might have went around the mountain that way but we're gonna go up this way and uh, through this wash like I said usually if it flash floods it'll wash stuff down and over six years, we might see something in the bottom of the wash. Um, very unlikely we'll see anything on the road. So, Kenny, Kenny Beach didn't hike roads either. He hiked up in the mountains and no trails. That's how I am. I hike the, I hike the mountain, not the trails. And uh, hey, there's something. Maybe just tree. But right up there, there's a, yeah, it's just wood sticking up. It looks like something else, like a structure or something. All right. So, we'll keep going. Okay. Okay, that stupid thing won't stay up. Okay, we're getting closer. And the wash is getting narrower. But right here, we got two tin cans. And so, I know I'm getting closer to something. My stomach's growling. And I uh, can't find the road, but like I said, we're just going, I, I saw the road going up through this over here, so we're, we'll eventually meet up with it. But that's, that's a sign of something above here. Okay. Okay. Up here. <clears throat> We're getting high up in the mountains now. The wash is getting a little bigger. <clears throat> right here's a little side canyon. And uh, I stopped here because uh, I feel like I was being watched right here. Maybe a, another animal. Look at this tree. That big pine tree is sitting completely sideways. And the little branch grew like a tree. Look at that. It's fallen down and then part of it died. And then it kept growing straight out. Perpendicular to the cliff. That's something you don't see every day. But something here is watching me. I don't know. I just feel it. There's nobody up here. When I was driving, I was only that I didn't see any vehicles. I don't see any footprints or anything. But I just feel like somebody's watching me or something. Up on the hill there, there might be a Bighorn sheep staring at me. I can't see anything, but that's a long ways away. And it's, <clears throat> it's like dead quiet here. There's no birds, there's no crickets. Usually you'll hear something. So 
maybe I'm gonna hike out through here real quietly. See if something's out there. It's just an eerie feeling right here. Something's weird. Right here is a whole bunch of green vegetation. Right under this rock. Look at all the green. This is... There's probably a small little spring right here. Because look at this cactus, it's huge. And all of these, this is actually stinging, stinging nettle. If you touch it with your skin, it'll itch and itch and itch. But that don't grow out in the desert. It doesn't grow in the desert. There's got to be a water source here. Or it might be just coming off a cliff here. Can't see any water, but I bet. I bet if you dug down, you'd hit water pretty soon. See the see how green? This is not desert floral right here. Well, those are the kind of things you want to look for when you're hiking deserts. And I got a lot of water today, but oh look, I'm directly under this tree. Hanging sideways, I didn't even realize. It's right above me. That thing gave out, I'd be dead. Hi Mr. Pine, <clears throat> hi Mr. Pine Tree. You are a strong tree to survive right there. And look at this. This is... See this? It looks like snake grass. But this is... Actual Brigham tea here. Oop. We take a piece. You dry it out. And then you put it... And make it a tea. And uh, you can... You can actually... Suck on this, but it doesn't taste very good. It tastes good when you tea, make tea out of it. The little, there's brown stuff that's kind of hollow. And there's brown stuff inside this uh, stem. And it makes a really good tea. Now this stuff the pioneers use when the pioneers, the Mormons came across the plains. And this has natural... Ephedrin. I <laughs> didn't even know, but it, it helps you in the winter time. And it has just a little tiny bit, not a lot, a little tiny bit of ephedrin in it. And it's all natural. This is from a plant, so this ain't chemicals. And uh, it helps with your headaches and colds and flus. You got to drink quite a bit of it. But last night I was up in Vegas and... Uh, Stayed up till 1 o'clock in the morning. So I have a slight headache. So I'm going to chew on this. Like I said, it don't taste good. But uh, that uh, Fredman might help me for today. So I'm going to do that. But for now... Let's, uh, it's nice in the shade right here. I got some clouds coming in. Let's get out of this brush. Oof, oof. And, oh, step over the cactus. I got some clouds coming in over there, but a little rain might feel good. Now, this is, like I told you, we, uh, this is the old road. We've met up with it. So we're going to keep going. There's 
cane is getting really narrow now. We're gonna keep going and see where this leads. Okay? Okay, found a little, something a little interesting. And, uh, yeah, this thing keeps sticking. But well, here's the, here's the little Brigham T. I'm sucking on it, you can see breaking down it tastes like uh kind of like kind of like a wheat stock but yeah uh like a medicine-y wheat stock if you ever sucked on pull a wheat thing and put it in your mouth that's what it tastes like and as soon as it as soon as you taste the the brown powder and like your numb your tongue just feels like it's a little bit numb it doesn't not like you know huge but you can taste a little bit but also it helps you retain your water when you're hiking because uh, you know you got something in your mouth and your your fluids in your mouth are active and they're filling something like when you're eating you you get saliva and so it makes you not drink all your water it makes you feel like, oh, I got, I'm fine. And you don't drink all your water before you get down. So it's good stuff. But right here I found something. Look at this. This is a tin aluminum can right next to... That's a backbone. And that's a Vienna sausage. And that's kind of weird. They're right together but that is a backbone and that's pretty big so I'm gonna probably take this one and maybe see if it get analyzed if it's animal or or human in my bag it's not very good but it holds a lot so we're gonna put that in there and we're going to keep going up through here. We're going to get up. See those canyons? They all meet together. I think that's where the wood mill is supposed to be. Okay. Okay, we made it up here. The pine trees are big now. And right here, we have all kinds of cans. And I gotta look around this area. I might find something interesting. See, that is a newer sardines can. And those are. That's all big sardines. And then right here, see this? This can. These, there's an, look, that thing's condensed milk or something. Little tiny holes in there. You know, the shade. Somebody's been up here in this area. We'll walk around and look. Grab my bag. There's some right there. Whole bunch right there. And there's more right here. And look, somebody's put a rock thing marker. Another marker over there. There's a big tree. Man. Had some erosion right here. More cans. This might have been where a little camp was for the the wood mill. 
but it, they marked it so people would know where it was. Oh yeah, here we go. Now that came off of a vehicle. Tell the it's like a fender part. So this is where they camp for the wood mill. And this was a building right here at one time. You can see all the wood right there. Little camp spot here and big pine trees. All around. So it's a pretty big building. So I never been up here, so I didn't know if this was standing still or not. We're gonna hike around a bit and see what we can see. There's some cans there. That's a big can of chili. And it looks like this is the road right here. Comes in and stops. There's some more cans. Yeah. I don't see no bones. I'm gonna keep looking. Here's the campfire. There's something standing there at one time. And there's some more. Looks like a small lean to is right there. And look, we got footprints here. Somebody started a fire up here. Okay. Yeah, we got footprints and stuff right here. About a week old, it looks like. Maybe since the last heavy rain, there's some more cans. It looks like the road turns up this way. We got another rock pile. I'm going to set my drinks in the shade right here by the rock pile. And I want to hike all through these trees and look at stuff. Never know what you're going to find in an old camping place. This, I don't know if this, it's like some more like a trail here. see any cans. I don't go too far because I want to <clears throat> hike that through those trees down there. But this Looks like it keeps going somewhere. That 
definitely an old road. Yeah, so it keeps going that way. But <clears throat> I'm gonna hike down there and see if I can see something in those trees where that camping place was. Okay, I'll turn it on back down there. Okay, back down here where this camp was, that's that big tree, the big pine. And we found a tub. Look at this tub. Pretty cool. All the tubs sitting here. And then over here is the rest of the vehicle. Come up through here. It's a little parts left of the truck. You got a piece of metal right there. Uh, you got the seat, seat, and uh, looks like part of the hood and a rim, the old rim. So this is definitely where the camp was. They were cutting trees and hauling them, hauling all the big stumps to make uh, cabins or whatever. And there's a little, it would suck driving up that road every day. So they probably stayed weeks up here cutting trees and then Spend a week down in Alm Alma, or, or I mean Alamo, or even Vegas. And come back up, cut some trees. But that's all I could see, really. I didn't see no bones. Right as I say that, there's a little bone right there. That definitely not human though. No one over there, no thing there. So that kind of a bummer. I did find one backbone down there where I thought somebody was watching me. Is where I found that backbone. Might be human. But other than that, see I hear I hear birds. It's peaceful. I don't feel like somebody's watching me. So on the way down, I'll go try to go through that area again. I hiked around and I couldn't see anything else there's a water bottle somebody's been up here in these trees that's plastic so that's newer trees over here This is a little wash where the rocks were. Hmm. It's really hard to walk through here. All the vegetation. I thought maybe it'd be a little spring up here because they're, you know, working on the big pine trees. But I didn't see no spring yet. I'm going to hike up this road a little ways. See if there's anything good. Okay. Okay. We're, oops. Okay, we're up there at the top. 
big pine trees, black clouds coming in. It's getting kind of late. About four o'clock right now. But I haven't seen anything since the little camp. Just peaceful wilderness. That big tree dead. So gonna go down to where that I found that bone and see if I can see anything else before the end of the day. Okay.